Do you plan on drinking when you go on the new Disney Wish Cruise? Well, if you do, then I have over 20 locations I'm going to show you that you can get a drink. Now, the only sad news is there are no drinking packages on the Disney Cruise Line. So it will cost. And if you try all of my locations, it could definitely have a big price tag at the end. But here goes my list. Number one is our most obvious choice, I would say. It would be the pool bar. Number two you can find is at the Quiet Cove Pool, which is the Cove Bar, but this area is uh, adults only. Number three is the Lookout Bar. Number four is the Marceline Markets Bar, right at the entrance of the Marceline Market. Number five is the bar at the Hooks Barbary, so while you're getting a haircut, you can also get a drink. Number six is the Wishing Star Bar, which you can also get coffee at, but there is a charge. Number seven is the Enchanted Sword Bar. Then we have number eight, Currents, followed by number nine, which is Preludes, and number 10, the Movie Theater Bar. They want to make sure even while you're watching the movies, you do not have to travel far to get your drink. And number 11, the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge, which is the home of the $5,000 drink that is the most expensive one you can purchase on this ship. Number 12 is the Keg and Compass. If you're looking for a pub style bar and looking for really good beer choices, this is the place. We're at number 13, which is Nightingale's, which is a piano bar, followed by number 14, the Bayou. Number 15 is the Cove Cafe Bar, which is located also at the Quiet Cove Pool. Number 16, we have the Rose. Starting at number 17, we will now mention some of the restaurants where you can also get drinks. Uh, the first one is Enchante, which if you watch one of my other videos, you could see is my least favorite uh, menu of all the restaurants. Number 18 is the Palo Steakhouse. Number 19 is Arendelle, followed by number 20, the Worlds of Marvel. And finally, 21, the 1923 restaurant. That completes my list. And just to clarify one thing that I probably should have mentioned in the beginning, when I say drinks, I do mean alcoholic beverages. Now, if that was a not enough choices for you, uh, you can also bring your own alcohol. You can bring on two bottles of unopened wine or champagne or six beers, no larger than 12 ounces, but they must be packed in your carry-on bags. Otherwise, if they find it in your luggage, uh, they will remove it. Well, after that very long, extensive list of places to get an alcoholic beverage, which pretty much seems like there's more places that you can buy a drink than there is to go eat, it's no surprise that the number one most dangerous thing people do on a cruise is drinking too much. Please do leave a comment uh, if I've missed one location that I didn't list. And if I were to try all 20 of these locations, that would be me. Please like and subscribe.